Y'all guys want to watch a video? Shalom and welcome back everybody to Noonish Plays. My name is Robert Flavin. We're going to continue our playthrough of Home. If you haven't watched part one, you better do that first. Link is in the description. Thank you guys and here we go. Poor guy. Uh, I guess this was Norbin's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there, <clears throat> there were water rings from two cups still there in the wood. Oh, I had never been to Norman's place before. At least I didn't remember ever doing so. The kitchen's trash bin smelled fresh. Uh, I didn't dig through the mess, did I? Yes, I did. I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Okay, good. Good thing I did. Why would I do all these things? I don't know. It's what I do. Oh, I bet I could pick the I bet I could pick the pick the lock downstairs. Let's go do that. I can make out with the screen, but that glow gave me, just gave me chills. Yeah, I don't blame you. What's this? What was this? It looked like if I pull the chain hanging from the ceiling, I wonder where it would lead. Oh, yeah, let's pull the chain. Pulling ladder in a pack. Oh, cool. More stuff to explore. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Let's open it. I opened the box and cardboard and wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rachel's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photos, shoes. Even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rachel? What were you doing here with Norman? Oh, buddy. What else would it say? I just couldn't believe it. My head ached with everything that was running through it. Maybe she killed him. I don't know. Is that it? Was that all I could see? Okay, let's go downstairs. Let's go out of here. The hairpin snapped in half, so I threw it away. The general store was small, but it was clean. Um, <clears throat> it had the usual things, postcards, snacks, magazines, and canned goods. I never went there much. Rachel usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. The register was mostly empty, and a fat stack of travel magazines sat beside it. Were you thinking of going somewhere with Rachel, Norman? Oh, God! This is so depressing! The icebox seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half-melted. What's the matter, Norman? Cheated on your hydro pills, too? Oh, God. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. Um, one of the postcards showed an old black-and-white photo of the water tower. It looked to be in much better shape then. Of all the postcards, that one seemed to be the most popular. There were only a few left. So I didn't know that I could click on things twice, and I, I've probably been missing a lot. So that night continued to take a horrible turn after horrible turn. It had been weeks since I had last seen Norman, but to find him like that, who could have done that to him? Seeing that dusty box of those old clothes was a shock. How long had that had they been there? And what was Rachel doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions, no answers. But I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Okay, so when I get home, the truth will be revealed. That's what they're saying, basically. What are all these doors? There's so many doors. Okay, let's go on this one. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. Okay. That door only led me back. I had to find my house. Ah, crap. Uh, the neighborhood's local post box, uh, a letter was sticking out and as if someone hadn't pushed it in all the way. I knew it wasn't right, but did I look at the letter? Yes, the envelope was addressed to Norman. There was no return address, but the handwriting looked familiar. I took a deep breath and tore open the package. Norman. 
I am sending this to you in a letter because I'm afraid to tell you this in person. What we did, well, was wrong. My husband isn't an easy man to be with, but he is my husband and your friend. I need some time to sort this out anyway from you both. Oh, away from you both. I'm going away for a while. I'm going to tell him. Norman, so don't you think you can hold me hold that against me. Maybe we'll work it out. I'm not sure. I even want to. But he deserves at least that much. Goodbye. Ah, oh, man. So, she was cheating. What? Ah, oh, man. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding. And it, was, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expecting. I was expecting, but also afraid. Okay. I held my breath as I approached my... our back door. I was terrified to step inside. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and stained. Strained, sorry. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. I remembered having breakfast here, on this very table. Was that yesterday or sometime before? Oh, did I find out that they cheated and then went and killed him and then, like, got bonked on the head or something by the guard, maybe? Oh, God, I don't know. The door of the basement was locked. Where did I put that damned key? There's a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long it had been how long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card there bill there. Did I open it? Yes. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise it says something about canceling my credit card due to non payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from inside. I couldn't go out though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. Okay, so I guess the only option is to go upstairs. Um, let's check on this floor. I found the last missing piece of my wallet. The old photo of Rachel and I staring back at me. Stared back at me, reminding me of better times. I did. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? Yes. I replaced the photo in my wallet. Feeling like I had got part of my life back still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? Because you found out, boy. Our television, I had purchased it before. I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but by then it was too late, so. Wow, so, we had, so I'd lost my job. My wife was cheating on me. Wow, what a crap situation. The door was stuck shut. There's an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Okay. So let's keep going upstairs. The books were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now, that... <clears throat> hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in the house had some of the same books as I did. My wife's. Rachel's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed. But I had a feeling what was in it. Did I open it? Yes. Rachel's suitcase, Rachel's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and a train ticket. Is this what you were going to do with Norman? Oh, man. I don't like this situation at all. Oh, God. Our hallway mirror had been smashed in pieces scattered around the floor. Oh, God. Okay. Let's go in this one. Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the ta uh, taps was w always was always stuck, but I hadn't gotten around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with uh, one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. Cool. It's got a claw clawfoot bathtub. Those are cool. I don't think I'd personally want one, but... 
cool looking. My laptop had been left on um, and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the, s on the screen was a website about the old water tower. Um, there's a key. Oh, there was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes, I took it. For sure. For sure. Hey, you pocketed the key. Laptop was warm. It had been running for a while. Okay. Oh, I already went in there. I don't need to go back in there. Okay. So, I found a key to the door that was over here. The door was stuck shut. The old-fashioned keyhole beneath the handle. Oh, no, I bet that's the key to the basement, then. I unlocked the basement door. Old oh, Christmas decorations in the box. I can't remember our last Christmas. Uh, the garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take a key? Yes, I did. Okay, I took a small key and tried to remember what it was used for to unlock. Okay, there were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. Obviously. I know where that key goes, by the way. We had way too much junk. <laughs> we had way too much junk. Um... I had put this divider wall last summer so we could create a uh, separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck, and the drywall was poorly installed. I might be able to break through if I found something heavy enough. Found something heavy enough. I bet there, I bet back in that room upstairs, there's probably like a thing. The grimy key I had found in the basement unlocked this door. Cool. I looked in the room and it, uh, the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Yes, I took it for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use to break in that thing. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I was I I appreciated its weight. Okay. Nothing up above us. Okay, so uh, now we go back downstairs and down in the basement. Okay, I can bust through that dry roll now. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed the hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down here? Was she okay? Don't look. Don't look. What am I not looking at? A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful. It had made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, looking uh, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? It said don't look. Wait, that's not the question it's asking. It's not asking me if I wanted to look. When I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? No? The rags were wet, matted, covered with grime, but inside that tattered mess with no sign of my beloved wife, Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had she been... What had I been searching for all this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then, the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there. 
and I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain of my leg, just a dull ache now, and sat down in our, my bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could go no longer. I could no longer fight the exhaustion. And as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all of this, I must have drifted it off. I, I guess these books were all actually mine then. This was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking in or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at all those places before? Yeah, I was there. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been one, the one to lose the, my wallet and its contents. What does that mean? It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I had found at the house. Were those really my wife's remains in the tunnel? It certainly seemed so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Yes? I don't know! I don't know! The sick bastard must have! What else did that mean? There were some question, questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? I can see my face gone now. Hollow and sickly. And immensely troubled. What other illusions had I dreamed up? What other truths were waiting to be exposed? I really don't know where I'm supposed to go now. Laptop finally ran out of power. dirty faded glass I looked like nothing more than a faint shadow. When was the last time I showered? I smelled awful. There's only one set of toiletries in the sink. Okay. So was I never with her? Man, I'm getting weirded out here. I don't know what to think. Let's just explore the house, I guess. It was the letter I had taken from the post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain, but if... Well, who wrote the letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? Okay, I must have. But why? Did, did we fight, or... Was I tricked into thinking he was sneaking around with, well, with Rachel? What was happening to me? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. I had that old TV for so long, I didn't know if I could replace it. What a piece of junk. But I couldn't really afford anything. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. I used a digital passcode, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I'd left it somewhere. Eight names written alongside those old marks in different colors were printed in the notebook. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose. I recalled the names I saw scratched out on that old desk deep within those musty tunnels. Was the man in that house really up to something? I'm questioning everything now. I have no idea what to think. It seemed like I have seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back into the basement. A pile of mail on the floor I now saw was addressed to me. Bill's credit card offers a letter from the bank. They were all addressed to me. I'm 
many breakfasts had I eaten here completely alone? So... So wait... So I was never with Rachel? If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and do something about it. Did I pick up the knife? Yes. I took the knife and kept it firmly in my hand. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by the inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of that wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Did I just start over? Must have locked the door. There was no reason to turn the backyard anyway. Okay, no, okay. I thought I was going to have to like go back all the way through that to figure out what really happened. Maybe the front door works now. I knew I needed to escape that nightmare, but what could I do about the knife I had still carried? I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So, did I leave the house forever? Yes. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though it had been good for me, it kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense sometime after that, and my memories of what happened were still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened, everything that I'd seen? You know, in a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man had found, that I had found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it. Just as sure as you killed mine. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. Security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that, attacked, that was attacked? And what had I been doing in Norman's place, or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. I had been responsible for what would happen there. Had I been responsible for what had happened there? What did you think? Was I guilty, or was I just mad? The forest. Though, was no escape, either. That notebook especially left me troubled. I remember seeing a similar, a similar list on my desk back in the tunnels. On that desk back in the tunnels. Who were the girls mentioned there? I suspected that there was more to those woods than I knew, though I had no intention of going back. The old factory used to be a, a haven of sorts, but when I saw it tonight, it was anything but. Those faded walls, those long dead sounds, they had stirred something in me. The back of my mind, something in the back of my mind, but I wasn't sure what. Who had been in there, boarded up in that room anyway? I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point, until the factory, um, those had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that's where the confusion and, and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective and on all this really started to change. Norman, you bastard, I had killed you. And it was clear to me now why. You had, take, you had taken Rachel from me. You were going to take her away altogether. In the end, you got what you, you... You got what you deserved. Wow. But as painful as all of that was... Oh no, I couldn't bear to think about it again. After all, after all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no I idea, though, that it was only the beginning. 
When I had first stepped through the kitchen door, the silence had been unnerving. But to think that I went through all of that completely unaware of what I would discover had... Had I killed Norman? Thinking that he... Well, that he was some... That something was going on, maybe... Everything that I held dear and true was now spinning around me. I had nothing... <clears throat> I had nothing to ground me, nothing to give me purpose, or even the faintest hope of reason. Without Rachel, without what I thought was Rachel, I was lost forever. As the door swung open, I could smell the damp grass and a closeness in the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth. I'll give you that, but now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure. I was sure word would get out soon enough. The police would come looking for me, and what then? Would you, would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? What? So, so he, he killed everybody. Sure. Home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. What? <laughs> that is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. And then does it just start over? Okay, so that was that was home, and it certainly lived up to the the name, a unique horror adventure. Um, it it gave me chills at times, like it, and it kind of jump scared me, but not really. It, like once, maybe twice, but it was still unnerving. That was like probably the most like. The biggest part about this was that it was so unnerving all the time, and it, and the story behind it was really was really cool, the way that it did it. Um, yeah, that was that was actually really fun. I'm I'm glad I did that, um, even though it was really kind of freaking me out. Benjamin Rivers, dude, the the statement that he made at the end, he was like, "This is dedicated to my wife Nancy. Watch your back." I I kind of want to look up and see what that maybe meant or why he put that on there but yeah that was that was really intense <laughs> um i really like that game um guys i hope you enjoyed this uh run through of home a unique horror adventure um if you did give it a like please and uh share it with uh anybody on facebook or on your youtube um also if uh if you would want to subscribe to our youtube channel noonish plays um, you can also watch our streams on uh, twitch.tv slash RoboFlavin. Um, I appreciate everything you've done for us. Guys, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Another one coming down the stairs.